video beer review. Right, today we have a beer from Audi and it's their Queen Bee Honeyed English Ale. It's coming in at 4.2% ABV. It's brewed by Hogsback Brewery in, I think it's Surrey. And yeah, 99p in Audi, 330ml bottle. Um, is there a date on this? Best before August of 2019. I'm reviewing this in in January 2019. So the Great British, I assume that's the kind of a logo for the Great British Beer Festival type bottles that they done a few years back. So this is the second one. I've just uh, had the Hoptical Illusion Dry Hop Lager, which was yeah. Let's give this one a go, see what this one's all about. Oh, okay. More of a kind of a maltier looking beer. Amber in colour. Wow, almost like, like a dark reddy mahogany sort of thing going on with this. Um, it's not poured much of a head. Um, it's just a little, well, it's off white, almost... Um, like a slight beige -y kind of head just covering the top of the beer. There's a nice gentle carbonation as you can see. Uh, it looks unfiltered, I guess it is. Most of these lighter beers will be, I guess. Yeah, it's unfiltered. Yeah, really nice looking beer in the glass. So let's give it a, a swirl and a sniff. Very kind of sweet, almost like a confectionery sweetness. Yeah, sweet malt. There, there is a hint of honey, but it's not. It's not. It's just hints. That's the you know. It's probably knowing that it's on the bottle and it's got a, like a a B on it. You think ah, oh. but it's a little bit subdued for me. Yeah, sweet, almost like a slight kind of rye sweetness. I don't know what's in this. Uh, if you've seen my mystery beer reviews, you know how I'm how bad I am. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's giving me the impression and the look that it's it possibly got rye in it. I don't know. It's very vague. Let's give it a try and see what we get. Cheers. That's quite pleasant. Very smooth. You're getting more honey on the taste than the actual aroma. They've been out of the fridge, what, 20 minutes or so? Maybe something like that. It's into a, I've got the fire on it, so it's a little bit warmer, so these beers will warm up a little bit quicker, so. Oh. 99p, I'll tell you what, it's actually not too bad at all. The price, and for what you're actually getting for the price, this kind of, yeah, it's the glass, isn't it, yeah. I guess it's slightly hazier, I, I don't know, it looks a little bit... Yeah. Well, okay. That's that's kind of quite pleasant beer. Um, th this kind of really does knock the Hopsicle Illusion um, from this little series. Kind of out the door really. It's um what is in this? Does it gonna tell me anything? This says silky smooth ale with satisfying balance of sweet, rich honey and a, a, a bitter dry hop finish which gives it a real buzz. <sighs> um I'm not sure how that'll fly with some people but there you go. Um let's have a look here. This bottle contains a single serving. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Right, um, any other things really? Not really anything at all. 
s store in a cool, dry place, out of direct sunlight, or out or in full view of a supermarket lights on the ceiling. Anyway, why are we going on like that? Apart from the obvious what I've told you, it's got quite a nice mouthfeel. Body-wise, it's yeah, lower end and medium. It's nothing, you know, major. I said the 4.2, sessionable. I could probably drink a couple of these. I'd be quite happy with that. I'd probably buy this again um, if there's any around. Just buy two or three of these for three quid. Just you know, a cheap, cheap few beer, kind of little night session, sitting at home watching the telly or whatever, out of the way of the cold weather. But yeah, it's. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, it's better than I thought it was going to be. It's actually the aroma is pretty duff, so I was like on a downward curve with it already. In you know in my head. Taste-wise, it's quite pleasant. Uh, it's definitely present honey there, and yeah. So definitely right to put all that spiel art form on, on the bowl. So in terms of rating them for me I'm going to give this I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. Um, I think it's for what the beer is for the price point all things considered it's, it's not I wouldn't put it up there of Honeydew from Fuller's of course um, but it's it's for what it is, perfect. I've said that about five times for what it is, and yeah, I'll buy a few of these again. Cheap beer, tasty, done the job. So, six out of ten from me, so that's a, a three out of five on the untapped scale. I didn't do the uh, scores on, on that last uh, the hop score illusion, so I'll do it this time. So, it's had check ins of 1161, 108 in the last 30 days, and then it's coming in at 3.09 so it's just over a 6 out of 10 out uh, of 1 just over a 1000 rating so it's been around since the 10th of June <laughs> or is that not the 10th of June the 6th of October probably the 6th of October I think it's been around since then so that's when it was added on untapped um, brewed by Hogback Brewery so yeah let me know if you've had this one before this is Aldi's uh, Queen, <laughs> Queen Bee Honeyed English Ale brewed by Hogsback Brewery 4.2% Thanks for watching then and I'll see you on the next review Cheers